So, hello and welcome back to my modern C++ tutorial playlist. In this playlist I just want to show you how to write a simple hello world program and then turn it into a CMake project with a custom CMake presets file or basically using the industry standard on how to set up projects in C++. It won't be anything crazy, but let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is to create our main C++ file. This will be the entry of our program. And every program in C++ is basically like a cooking recipe. It starts at a certain point, and that point is always the main function. And everything he in here, everything here are called instructions, and they will get executed line by line. For example, these instructions will be executed line by line, and they don't have to be line by line. An instruction always ends with a semicolon. C++ does not care about any line endings or blank spaces. That also means all of these instructions could be on the same line. So that being said, what does this code do? This code here in integer is just the type of a number in C++ and we are declaring a variable here. Let's split this into two. First of all, we are creating a as, as a variable. And in C++, creating a variable always goes like this. The first part of the instruction is the type of the variable. This is the size and the meaning of the variable. And afterwards comes the name of the variable. You can think of variables as boxes. With this instruction, we are creating the box. And with this instruction, we are writing something into that box. Here, it's a five. We can also do both of these things in the same line, as we can see here with B. So we have two boxes now, one called A with the contents five and one called B with the contents four. And then we can add them together as in math. And here on the left side, we are creating a new variable, meaning a new box, where we can put the result of this instruction meaning in this case nine. But we want to do something fancier than that. You don't have to understand headers right now, but we can include other functionality from other files using the include statement. And we want to print something. Of course, we need to spell it right. Then we want to read something. And that functionality is defined in the IO stream header. And afterwards, we also want to work with strings. So we need to also include the string data type. So first of all, we want to read something from the user. We want to prompt the user to enter their name. So how to do that? We just print enter your name to the screen with the print function. Afterwards, we want to create a box where we can store things the user enters and that box should be of the type string and let's call it name because we want to store our name in here. After that we can read from the user using the C in stream. This is the console input. Anything we want we enter here into our name box. This operator is a little bit confusing but it just means take the thing that's on the left and put it on the right. After that, we can already print something using our name to the screen. So let's say print ln. This means it prints and then starts a new line. And we can specify a format here. And the format is something that can have placeholders that will get replaced later. So a placeholder will look like this. It's just a curly bracket open and a curly bracket close. And after that, we need to specify what we want to read into that placeholder. And that is the content of our name variable. So we just specify name here. And with the semicolon, we end that its instruction. And let's see if it compiles. We need to have Clang installed. Then after that, we specify our source. In our case, that is main. 
then we need to specify the C++ standard we want to use. And in our case, that is 23. And then we need to specify the output file. And in our case, that is hello.elf. Okay, as we can see, our executable is here now. So let's see if it works. And my name is David, so I will enter that. And as you can see, it prints hello David. So far, so good. So we can compile our program, but let's turn it into a project. And for that, we need a CMake file that is called cmakelists.txt. And the first thing we need to do here is to specify which version of CMake we want to use. And Visual Studio Code helps us a lot here. Here we can always use the latest version that is available to us. We can check which version of CMake we have with CMake version. We don't care about the patch number, so that is fine. After that, we can open the project and we can give it any name we'd like. So in our case, we can just call it hello world. And after that, we need to globally set the C++ standard and we can do that with CMake 66 CXX standard and that is 23. And we also want to require the standard. So let's set that also. And that's also standard 23. After that, we can add our first executable that we want to compile. And we can name it anything we'd like. I just name it hello. And after that, we just need to specify any sources that the executable depends on. In our case, it's just main. And that is already our project set up, but it won't compile just yet. Let's show you why. We specify the source directory and then the build directory. Let's call it build. And as we can see here, it complains that the C compiler is not set, that the CXX compiler is not set, and also that it can't find any program to execute Unix make files because we don't have make installed. We want to use Ninja instead. So let's check if Ninja is installed. And indeed it is. If it wasn't installed, then you would need to install it using sudo pacman and then Ninja. But how can we specify these? We could set them here, but that doesn't make sense because the CMake lists specifies the dependencies of our executables and libraries and how they are built and linked together. But anything that has to do with the build setup itself and our tool chain should go in a different file. And that is called CMake presets.json. And usually, usually Visual Studio would help us here a little bit, but let's try if, it, if we can do it from memory. First of all, we need to specify any version. Then we would like to also set up which version of CMake we require here with a major version of three and a minor version of 31. And we also don't care about the patch version here, so I leave it to zero. After that, we can set up a configure preset. This is an array and in here we can also create an object, JSON object here and we will just name it default. Then we need to specify display name and that could be anything. I would also keep it to default here. And I forgot colon right here, not a colon, a comma. Then we can provide a description and I will just call it Clang and Ninja. Then after that, we need to specify our generator. So we are not using make files anymore. So we will use Ninja. After that, we specify a binary directory and that should be our source directory, which is the directory of our CMake lists file. And then we'll call it build, which also means we should delete this here. And then we can also specify some cache variables. 
And these are the variables that CMake complained about here. So we need to especially set the, um, the CXX, the C++ compiler. So let's do that first. And for, our, for us, that's just Clang++. We also need to specify our build type. And here you can choose between them a release build, a release with debug info, and so on. Minimum size. And we just want to have a debug build here. And I also want to export compile commands. That might be useful for our IDE and also for other tooling that we might use later. And then we also want to have a build preset with the same name. Oh, the keys name. Sorry, keys also a string. Oh, of course, here we don't need an array. We need an object. Let's get rid of this. Okay, that's a little bit messy. Now, name, and we will also call it default. And we need to specify which configuration preset we want to use for this build preset. So that is also default because our configuration preset here is also called default. So like that. Now we can check which presets are installed or which presets we have. And we have only one preset, which is default. So let's configure the project with that preset. So now it has been configured and this is where this preset comes in handy. And the results are stored in here and you can basically see all the variables that have been set here. As you can see, where's our compiler here. And after that, we can also use CMake to build our project with CMake build. And then we just need to specify the path to our build directory. And as you can see, here's our hello program that has just been built. Also the exported com compile commands. If you would like to run a compiler yourself by hand, you can do that now. Here's the command. Also notice that we have a build ninja file. So the project gets built with ninja. CMake just calls ninja for us in the correct way. And I would also recommend to do it and not to build with ninja directly. And yeah, that has already been it. Let's see if our hello program works at all. Enter your name. Let's say I'm named Zulu now. And as you can see, it works. And thank you for watching. I know that has not been that involved now, but I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to set up a simple project in modern C++. And we will get into more theory in the next videos. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time.